All right, we're going to look at growth and decay, and you probably are thinking, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. We looked at growth and decay in the exponential chapter. Well, believe it or not, we're going to look at it again. And this time we're going to look at it from the frame of mind that we can solve exponential equations without having to graph them. In the exponent, exponents chapter, we had to take an equation like this one here. We could graph it and then say, find where it intersects the horizontal line, 5,000. Well, now with this, our ability to use logarithms, we don't need to do that. We don't need to draw an accurate graph of a sub n and use the graph to estimate. Waste of time. We're just going to find when the affected area reaches 5,000 hectares. So we do 5,000 equals 1,000 times 2 to the point zero seven n Well, how do we solve something like this? We get the power by itself. Divide both sides by 1,000. And now that we have the power alone, we change it to a logarithm. Log base 2 of 5 equals 0.07n. Divide both sides by 0.07, and we will know n. And let's jump to our graphing calculator to do this. The only reason I do that is because I can't do log base 5 in my head. Log base 5 of, or wait, no, it was, it was log base 2, I think. Log base 2 of 5. Got it, got it, got it. Log base 5 of 2 is that. And then I'm taking that bugger and dividing by 0.07. There we are. Our answer is approximately, it's just over six years or months. I forget what the years are. What were they? So 6.15. Um, and it's a number of weeks. So sometime in the sixth week, we'll have this insect flag across. Way easier to have to use a graph and calculate to find the intersection or guess just based on a graph. So again, exponential growth always has this basic form. We have a start value times a growth factor or multiplier r to the n, however many time periods we've got. So n time periods, you can figure out the next amount. So $5,000 investment, 5.2 points annually, interest compounded annually. Find how long it will take for your investment to reach 20000 So that's our M UF plus 1. That's our amount. Our start amount, U sub 1, 5,000 times R. Now, we're not going to put 5.2. If we put 5.2 here, this account is going to get huge very fast. Um, we want our 100% every year plus our 5.2% interest. So we're going to take 1 plus 0.052. We multiply, we add these together because we want to be more than 100%. We want more money every year. That's how this works. Alright, so here we go. Divide by 5,000. And 4 equals 1.052 to the n. And now we change to a log. Our base is 1.052 of 4 equals n. You got to put it right, I push enter. Boom. We 
will not be until the 28th year. 27th point B is what we get. But since we only get paid interest every year, we will not have our 20,000 until the 28th year. 